I, I can't even lie, y'all. And maybe it's because I'm always on high alert because we've seen so many people just try to troll and okie doke people with these fake Adam Schefter accounts and these fake Ian Rappaport accounts and just these fake reporter accounts. When I first saw this, somebody tagged me in it and I didn't think it was real. I thought it was fake. So I looked at it and then I, I looked and I actually saw a check mark next to Adam Schefter's name and I said, whoa. Okay now. And this not a shocker. Not a not a shocker at all. Um and this Eric DaCosta just I, this this is one I could get behind. Now this this is a trade of a player who apparently wasn't gonna make the roster and, and Ben Bredesen is somebody who's been very, very quiet. We have not had not heard much of anything uh for the entirety of his career with the Ray. I know it's been a short career. Um, it's only been a couple of years, but we haven't really heard anything with him or from him uh, for the entirety of his time with the Ravens. Uh, and it was all the bins. We, we, and we knew all the bins weren't going to make the roster. Uh, Ravens had Ben Powers, who looks like he's going to end up being a starter at left guard. They drafted Ben Cleveland, uh, who looks like he could take over as a starter at left guard in a little while, not right away. And then they had Ben Bredesen who we just really hadn't heard much of anything from, especially when it came uh, to the competition for that left guard spot. But now, hey, maybe he can compete for a left guard spot up in New York uh, because the Ravens have traded Ben Bredesen to the Giants. And it also said that it was uh, it's an exchange of picks that's going down too. Uh, which picks they are, um, we it does not say yet. Uh, maybe they end up trading. I know uh, they traded with the Dolphins when they got rid of Greg Mance. Um, I think they traded like a seventh for a six. Uh, and then the Dolphins would take the player. So we'll see what it is with this one. It's not going to be anything. Uh, it's not going to be anything high. It's not going to be anything crazy. It's not going to be anything wild. Um, and the Giants, they've been pretty active making trades with offensive linemen because they just traded for, um, I think, what, Billy Price from the Bengals, I believe. So the Giants, they, they must see some little holes here and there on their offensive line to where they want to bring in some more help, bring in some more competition and bring in some more guys who they feel can compete to really make. Because you want to for your offensive line, because that's where everything starts. That's where your whole offense starts, everything. So as many pieces as you added for Daniel Jones, uh, like a Kyle Rudolph, um, like uh, Kadarius Toney, um, like... From the Lions, Kenny Galladay, uh, Saquon coming back from that season in the injury last year. Uh, and I know there's more that I'm missing, so my apologies. Don't they have still have Sterling Shepard? I think they do. But anyway, for as many pieces that as Daniel Jones has around him, you can't use them if you don't have any offensive line. You can't. If you don't have any good offensive linemen, then Daniel Jones going to be on his back every play. So... This is smart by the Giants to try to really just re-up on offensive linemen because you got to put the best product out there that you possibly can because this is your quarterback and you want to get the best out of him, so give him the best. Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And the Ravens are down a bin. They're down a bin. They started with three. Now we're down to two bins. Uh, and may the best bin win. So just like Ben Bredesen is now when it comes to his time with the Ravens, I'm out.